Welcome everybody, Steve here. Today we have a little different project on the go. This is your uh, typical 80's furniture, particle board, built real cheap, and it's actually a wing off of a uh, sewing machine. So basically it closes up and then it flips down and there's really nothing holding it up except for, you know, the press fit here and the hinges. And eventually they're going to fail and they did. They tore everything out of this. Now, I got going on this before I uh, started filming and I missed the very first part of it, but I'm going to show you what I did anyway. But I used a couple different products. So there wasn't really that much. You can see what I've used. I've filled up here. Uh, there's quite a void because it just tore everything right out of there. And the first product I used was a um, it was an epoxy putty. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you which one it was, but it was horrible. Yeah, it was you know it was soft. It was kind of chalky, and I wouldn't use it to uh, fix a birdhouse. But then I came up with an idea, and I was sitting around chatting with my brother, and, and all of a sudden, you know, oh, the light bulb just goes off like that, eh? Bam. And then what I decided to do, you know, epoxy is what I used, but I thought, add a little bit more strength to the epoxy, so what I did was I used some milled fiberglass. Now, I've had this can for a long time, since I was a kid, and to prove it, four dollars and six cents. I think I bought this, I was repairing a, uh, my snow machine, I have an old Polaris, and I uh, give it a paint job, probably bought it for that. So what I did was I mixed some of this in with the epoxy, and then really, really worked it in well. Now I used some five minute epoxy, my shop's quite cool in here, so I had some time to work with it, I preferred to go on with a little longer, uh, you know, like a 20 minute or something like that, but, I think it's going to work. You know what? I put this one hinge in. I've only got the one hinge, but I put it in and it seems to tighten up. And in my opinion, I think epoxy is probably a little bit tougher than particle board. Time will tell. Is this the perfect solution? Probably not, but it's going to get us through for a little bit longer. So if this little method helps you out on a repair job you're going to be doing, Stay tuned. Really want to work it in there. Make sure you got a good adhesion. Leave it a little high. We're going to come back with the router, clean it up. Okay, I mocked something up here. And uh, maybe got a little bit carried away. But this is all you have to do, you know. If, well, the edge is broken out, so all you have to really do is just put a piece of tape there stop the epoxy from leaking all over the place. Hopefully I didn't uh, impede your view. Yeah, see that particle board. Man, I sure do unlike that stuff. That'll work. Okay, my epoxy's getting a little bit old here, but it'll still work. Equal parts, of course. Pretty straightforward on that. I'm just using it on here. This is going in the garbage. And that's pretty close. And I just added a little bit of this milled. Uh, 
fiberglass. Of course, can't get into it. Can now. There we go. Something like that. I'd probably go with. Well, maybe that much. You don't go too much. You don't want to have it all fiberglass. I use this stuff too, and just yeah, just kind of keep it floating around and just kind of gauge it. That looks pretty good right there. Don't want to add any more to that. You're just going to have to kind of wing that one yourself. Decide how much you really want in there. But you can spread it out. And you can see that it kind of looks just like uh, the fiber uh, body fill. Quite similar to that. Mix it up really, really well. There's no sense wasting this stuff. Let's throw that back in there. And then all it is is you got to really work it in. You want it to really bind well. If you just went like this, slapped it in there, there might be an air pocket or something like that. So you got to kind of work it down and work it in. And it's better to be high than it is to be low. It's a little tough to work with, but if you did get it low, you could just put another coat on. It's not going to hurt nothing. The main part is getting the uh, the lower end done, so that your screws are going to have something to uh, to bind to. So my whole thinking was that the uh, fiberglass was going to help hold the screw a little bit better. You know, you could comment. If you've uh, ever tried something like this before, there. That looks pretty good. Now all you have to do is let that set up, mill her out, and uh, you're good to go. I'm just using my uh, half inch straight cutting bit here, and my uh, little router. And uh, just going to freehand it, you know, it's up a little bit, so I can just smooth that back to where it was. Should be pretty easy. There's fiberglass in that epoxy, so make sure that you're uh, wearing a mask. see how it uh, how this stuff is going to hold up here. You'll be able to tell as soon as you put a screw in there.
Make sure you got your uh, drill bit all marked out so we don't go too far. And this one here, you should be able to just tie it up, center it in. Let me make sure. That looks pretty good. Might as well screw one in there to see if it works, see if I'm wasting my time. Should be able to tell, you know, just when you're screwing it in, you're just going to know. Oh, and that feels pretty good. It's tightening down pretty nice. Not the perfect solution, I don't know what is. It's going to work better than uh, body filler, I think. I think it'll work. Okay, let's drill them up. I'm confident. Confident level's up to about 85 now. Well, we got her done, and I think it's going to work. You know, this is an old 80s piece of furniture, and it's not going to get used very much. So, I think it's a, you know, midterm solution. I don't know what the best way of doing this would be. I think that the next step would be maybe, you know, uh, mill this out and laminate a piece of wood in there. But, you're, you're really taking steps for an old piece of furniture that is uh, probably not really worth it. But anyway, I think it's gonna work. And hopefully, you know, if, if this kind of leads you in a direction that, you know, for a repair that you gotta do, that's awesome. So until next time, thanks for watching.